So, I need to put out a video today. And uh, it's just it's just in time for a trending topic to pop up. And uh, those of you who have been subscribed for a while know what I'm about to say, because I've already talked about this, but I've never made a targeted video about it. So this is me making a targeted video about it. And then I'll elaborate a little, probably, that Fanta is Nazi Coke. Before uh, you click away, I have an email newsletter if you want to stay in contact after this. Um, and I also have a bunch of ways to support me in the description, should you so choose to allow me to consume food and keep a roof overhead. But there's a lot of stuff uh, coming on this channel. And uh, like, share, and subscribe or whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah. Fanta's Nazi Coke. And... The reason I'm bringing this up now, again, um, is because it's it's just a good way to remind people that maybe the reason I'm so fucking incensed about the whole, like, Ukrainian Nazi thing is because the West has funded Nazis before and, like, helped them directly before. Like, it's happened. It's happened before, and... Uh, when people don't recognize that, they don't realize that it's a pattern and that this pattern is being repeated right now. That Fanta is a good example of one of the many mega corporations that did business with Hitler and the Nazis. And that also there are a ton of other examples of this happening, of just Western assets being like, oh, oh we're, at the, we're the allies, but we're still going to profit off of the misery and suffering in Nazi Germany, because what kind of American would we be if we didn't? What kind of capitalist would watch all this suffering and say, I don't want that blood money. I don't want to materially support these people. What kind of American wouldn't be racist against a huge group of people just because it makes them a large amount of money? What American? Well, this American, because uh, unlike many people, I am not proud to be one. And in the spirit of jettisoning my potential career as a uh, patriot, let's have a little discussion about Nazi Coke, shall we? Fanta is an American-owned German brand of fruit-flavored carbonated soft drinks created by Coca-Cola Deutschland under the leadership of German business and businessman Max Keith. There are more than 200 flavors worldwide. Fanta originated in Germany as a Coca-Cola alternative in 1940. Mid-war, they were already holocausting and they were like, Hey, we need Nazi Coke! due to the American trade embargo of Nazi Germany, which affected the availability of Coca-Cola ingredients. Fanta soon dominated the German market with 3 million cans sold in 1943. The current formulation of Fanta was developed in Italy in 1955. So, to recap this thing, uh, and let you, let, let, let you sit with that for a moment, in case you're new to my channel, um, the fucking drink was literally just developed for Nazis because there was an embargo on the ingredients that they were using to make regular Coke. And so they needed an, a formulation that would be based directly in things that were available in Germany at the time. So they, they made it out of sugar, beet, and whey. Sugar, beet, and whey. A cheese byproduct. I like that they're saying that. A cheese by byproduct. They're not... <laughs> They, uh, they, 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 they need to explain that to people, I guess, but whatever. The point is that, like, basically what it was, was thickened sugar beet at the time. And it, it like, really, uh, tasted quite a bit like cola with the way that they formulated it. But it wasn't. It wasn't cola. It wasn't Coca-Cola. It was a soda that they made because they were selling it to Nazis, and Nazis couldn't have the, uh, the regular stuff because that stuff couldn't be imported. Their railroads hadn't gotten what they needed from them, so they, they needed uh, something that they could base their, their drink on that existed in the uh, domestic market. 
So they made Nazi Coke. And that's what Fanta is. And I'm not wrong, even though there are a ton of people already coming at me over this. Um, well, not a ton. Like, a few. But enough that it's like inklings of a ton coming. Um, but basically, they were like, you know, we gotta make money, still. And <laughs> 3 million cases of Fanta were sold in Germany in 1943 alone. So Coke kept on profiting from the war while Nazis were actively oppressing minorities and committing genocides. Man, oh live, it's almost like the West doesn't actually give a fucking shit and war is a racket, just like Smedley Butler said it was right before World War II started to come off. Um, and, and uh, you know, it's not just Fanta either. I'm using this as a segue. Do you like this segue? This is a segue to discuss all the other ones that have done businesses. Like, this isn't just Western business, mind you, but I'm just going to let this scroll. Associated Press. They helped them do propaganda and censor people. You know, Audi cars, obviously, because they're, they're based in Holocaust slavery. Fucking <laughs> bear used forced labor, and did medical experimentation. Uh, and and they, they produced the chems. But do, don't, don't doubt anything that any pharma says now. They're totally good for you. Uh, BMW, more slave labor. Chase National Bank literally just helped the Nazis sell their fucking war bonds. You know? Like, many such... <laughs> many such cases... And, you know, just to be specific, um, I'll bring up the fact that I've already brought up Prescott Bush like 800,000 times, and the fact that the Bush family is literally rich on Nazi money and had to, like, <laughs> had to fucking pay reparations to the families because they're rich on Nazi money. And the, the, the Bush family, uh, Prescott Bush, the, the, the daddy of, of Bush Sr., uh, he helped the Nazis hide their money. He he was like their Better Call Saul guy, only for the whole of Nazi Germany. And he helped them run their steel company. Dyson Krupp is like directly related to fucking Prescott Bush. And Dyson Krupp is now just called Thyson. And it's making like elevators in America. They 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 want you to forget about their legacy. <laughs> You know, but like in Deutsche Bank, you hear about them a lot. They were just directly <laughs> helping the Nazis build the camps and shit and, and plants for all the stuff they were doing. The, like literally the, the bank that p the plenty of people rely on these days. And if anything happens to them, uh, well, I mean, at least a while back. If anything happened to them, it was it was fucking front page news like every single day. Like, so many examples, you know? And maybe, maybe there's a significant problem with businesses that did business with Hitler and the Nazis still existing and still getting support. Like, you know, maybe fucking Ford. Oh, American, Henry Ford, Detroit. We're, we're auto manufacturers. We're doing such good things. Economy, much wow economy. But Ford was a massive racist, anti-Semite piece of shit who did direct business with the Nazis and helped them produce their war materials. Like, look at that. And he used the slave labor in Auschwitz and other places like it. Because Ford was a piece of fucking shit. Um, and so were so many other American businesses. All right? So many. Uh, I could go into Fanta. I could go into the Associated Press. I could go into Hugo Boss, uh, which, like, now does huge businesses in the U.S., but, like, they were making the Nazis uniforms, or IBM, who was responsible for a significant amount of your computers, or just, I could keep going. This is just a Wikipedia article, too. Like, it's incomplete. You can, you can finish it by adding all the businesses that also did it. 
So Krupp is now part of Tyson Krupp. And Tyson and Krupp both did business with the Nazis and are now building your fucking <laughs> your fucking elevators. Magi, now owned by Nestle, Nestle owns a property that <laughs> benefited from slave labor to make their products. So now they're making your like vegetable concentrate and other ingredients. Um Mercedes Benz, obviously. They they forced slaves to make car. <laughs> like I'm posting this because I think people need to realize the extent of the problem and the fact that it still fucking exists to a significant extent. And maybe the roots of this problem are still a problem. Maybe if you buy a Porsche, you'll you'll be supporting a brand that has its roots in slavery. Maybe maybe you shouldn't do that. Maybe we should form a new like sort of you know paradigm where we're not supporting industries that have their roots in that. Maybe an anarchist paradigm that frees people instead. But no, this is what we have. And when I say something like, you know, Fanta is Nazi Coke, and people don't know that, I think that's all you need to know that this is a severe problem, because it's there. Shell. Right? Right? And like, a, a ton, fucking Zyklon B wouldn't have been possible without the West. All right? The things they use for their murder would not have been possible without the West. And all of these benefited from each other, so without <laughs> without the the help of the uh the the um, American government and its businesses, Nazis wouldn't have had nearly as much success with their own personal business ventures. Volkswagen was making their shit and now they're all peacenicky and oh, we've got an image because of the beetle. I'm just saying, man. Like, if we want a better future, maybe a good way to start would be to understand the mistakes of the past. You know? Maybe. Possibly. And that list is, again, it's incomplete. There are still many other businesses that did business with Hitler and helped him actively. And Fanta was just one of them. You know? And maybe the other reason this all matters is because the U.S. government is currently sending tens of billions of dollars to other Nazis. It's not okay this time. It will never be okay. You got it? It'll never be okay to arm Nazi governments. Ever. It won't be okay with the Azov Battalion. It won't be okay with their allies in right sectors, Foboda, Patriot of Ukraine, C-14. It will never be okay. And I feel like Fanta is a really great way to remember that. Because, yeah... Sure, it's an orange drink now. It's not beet and whey flavored. But you know what? I don't think that matters. I think that what matters is that a company which was okay with doing business with Nazis and Hitler is still getting massive amounts of support. Maybe that's a fucking problem. Hey! If you disagree, feel free to dislike the video. If you disagree, feel free to send me that hate comment you want to. If you disagree with anything I said here, feel free to do that. Leave it in the comments. I read comments at the end of the week, so feel free to contribute to that. Um, but if you do agree with this and you want to see more like it, feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and sus specifically subscribe to my email newsletter because... That's what's going to let me stay on the air after I'm eventually censored for being way too consistent and knowledgeable about all the ways we need to smash the fucking state.